Hey guys, we're still going to continue our work identifying prepositional phrases and sentences and identifying the subject and verb. This week, we're going to review how you have to cross out prepositional phrases, not prepositions alone. So a preposition must be part of a prepositional phrase. In other words, it must have a noun or pronoun closely following the preposition. So an example is in the house. In is the preposition, house is a noun. So in the house is your prepositional phrase. If there is no noun or pronoun, then the preposition is not crossed out or included in the prepositional phrase. So here are some examples. The dog squeezed in through the doggy door. Through the doggy door is your prepositional phrase. The action is squeezed and the subject is dog. You'll notice that between squeezed and through, we have in. Typically, in is a preposition if a noun or pronoun follows it. However, there is not a noun or pronoun that follows in. So in cannot be a preposition because there is no noun or pronoun following it. So you would just leave it blank and not cross it out. After lunch, the guests walked out into the garden. Into the garden and after lunch are the prepositional phrases. Walked is the action and guest is the subject. Typically, out is a preposition if a noun or pronoun follows out. However, in this case, out is followed by another preposition. So we don't cross out or highlight or identify out as a preposition in this sentence because it's not followed by a noun or pronoun. So as you do the worksheet this week, if you see a preposition followed by another preposition, that first preposition you'll leave blank. You only identify a prepositional phrase if it's a preposition plus a noun or pronoun.